Welcome back. We're back at part two of this lesson for 4-7 on the Law of Signs. And now we're going to play with example three. As I said before, your given angle A is 38 degrees, side A is 8, and side B is 10. Well, immediately when I draw my triangle, which is why it's so important to draw the triangle, I can see that I have this relationship for A, and so I can set up a relationship, a ratio, to find angle B. And that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to find angle B. By doing that, I need the sine of B would be to the opposite side, which is 10, equals the sine that I know, sine of 38 is to 8. Okay. So now I need to find angle B. So this tells me that sine of B is, cross multiply, 10 times sine of 38 divided by 8. Okay. When you do that, you find that the sine of B is equal to 0.7695. Now I'm going to take the inverse sine, right, because I want the angle of B. And that's going to equal 50.3 degrees. Now again, I emphasize I want you to practice this on your calculator. I know you all, many of you are very, very good at this. But I want you to write this out. Also, some of you are going to write this ratio out, and then you're going to do everything in one fell swoop on your calculator. I would like to at least see that ratio. Then if you want to jump down here, you can do that. Okay. Now I have B, so I'm going to write that in. And I'm going to say 50.3, right? Degrees. Now I have B. Well, now I can find C easily. Okay, I can find angle C because that's just simply the 180 minus those two angles, right? Because the, the, the sum of all the angles in the triangle is, interior angles, is 180. Minus 38 minus my 50.3. So angle C is 91.7 degrees. Okay. So I'm going to write that, I'm just going to do this right here. That's 91.7 degrees. It actually kind of looks like a 90 degree angle in my picture too. <laughs> Pretty close. Then I can also, now that I have angle C, I can find side C. So we're going to find little c and I can establish that relationship. So I have C over Let's just go with the sine of the angle I just determined. So 91.7 equals. And then I always go back to the one I was given. I understand you could use B now, but I may have made an error there. So I always go back to one that I know was in the original problem. So I would have 8 is to the sine of 38. Cross multiply. And so side C is equal to 8 times the sine of 91.7 divided by the sine of 38. And again, I told you, I know a lot of you are going to look at this ratio and just jump in right there and get the answers. Awesome. But I want to see the ratio. Okay? You're going to put this, make sure you're in degree mode, you're watching your parentheses, and you're going to see that C is equal to about 12.99, which I'm even going to round to 13. Okay, so this whole thing right here is 13. Well, we did it. We found all the other three sides. So it does have a solution with those three pieces of information. Now, we just need to check. We are going to check to see if a second triangle exists, and this is very important, with the same information. It has to also have the same given information. So in order to do that, we have to do a few things. 
I'm going to see if I can swing this side in to see if I can make this also be 8. And it's kind of hard to see. And that I would have another triangle over here that would have the same pieces of information, the 38, the 10, and the 8. That's what I'm trying to determine. Now, I'm swinging this in, so I'm creating an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangles have base angles that are congruent. So if this is 50.3, this side is also 50.3, correct? That is also 50.3. If that is 50.3, I can then determine what this one is because the sum is 180. They're supplementary, so I can take one. Let me pick which color I want to work in. Um, let's try a light green. If I take the 180 and I subtract my 50, 30, okay, that will give me, let's call it B2 because it's along this side. Let's make that B1 and this B2 this angle right here. So we're going to make that be one that we found earlier. Okay. Does that exist? That gives me 129.7 degrees for that angle, B2. Well, now if I'm looking in this triangle that I'm trying to see if it, if it exists, if that's 38 and this is 129, I need to see if there is an angle that exists right there, that little bitty angle there at C2. Okay, So I am determining then does, let me scoot this up, then does another angle C in the new triangle exist? I need to figure that out. So I'm going to take the 180 minus the 38 minus my 129 and see if I have one up there that exists. I'm going to take 180 minus 38 minus my 129.7. That's going to give me this new angle C if it works. Well, it works. I find that that gives me 12.3 degrees. So it does exist. Okay, this little bitty angle right here, that part of the angle is the 12.3. Okay, this part of B right here was 129.7. Point seven. Point seven. Okay. So I now know I have another angle that exists, and I've already determined the three angles. I already have the two side, two out of the three sides. I just need my new C side over here, C side. So that would be little C2, okay? That would make this C1 and this C1, okay? Big C, angle C, and sometimes what you'll see on your paper Right now, we can fill in most of these, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. You will see the first triangle. So for big angle B1, angle C1, and little c, the side, we found angle B to be 50.3. We found angle C to be 91.7. And we found side C to be 13. Well, then you can find angle, and we did this, angle B2, we determined was 129.7. We determined that C2 was down here 12.3. So now the only thing left to do is to get the other side C. So I have to now go back and I can use the ratios to determine that. 
All right, so now I'm going to go back down here. And I have the relationship. I now know that angle here for the angle C to the little c to the side C. And I still am going to use the angle A38 to the side 8. Here we go. So I'm going to say side C is to sine of that 12.3 that we determined for the angle. And that is equal to the side of 8 is to the sine of 38. I'm going to cross multiply here 8 times the sine of 12.3. And then I will divide that by the sine of 38. Don't forget you're in degree mode. Okay, that equals 2.7. So then I can come back up here and I can give all six of these. And what you have determined is that with this information, there are two triangles that exist given that same information. And sometimes you just have to determine that. You have to try right here. You have to see if a second triangle exists and to see if you can get that new angle C. Sometimes you'll be able to, sometimes you won't. Okay? So I look forward to working on the law of signs when you come to class. And then we will practice this with these ratios. And the next lesson will still be in 4.7, but it uses the law of cosines. So something to look forward to. I'll see you in class.